uh, that is currently in group three and that would be the recommendation Orny, I believe is this is the well yes. Wellick application Phil I'm sorry <laughs> the Wellick application is in group three that's the recommendation it, yes I could support that. I, have, I do have a lot of concerns about changing that, but I'd like to see the environmental. Okay. It's been recommended to uh, leave it in group three uh, discussion. Other members of the board? Concur. Okay. okay. There's three, four, five. Okay. Um, in terms of Logan, I'm just going to run over you here, Mr. Chairman. That uh, seems to be the order of the day today. 2007. Well, it's about time. <laughs> that... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. I can't proceed with this one. I think this is an island. If we were to do this, and it, with the history of unsuccessful attempts at subdivision in the past, I have some concerns about creating an island. Uh, if I could make one one point too, um, Miss uh, Christine Alfano is representing the owner of this parcel, and she had heard in my staff report to you that there was some question about the access easement. And I, I didn't get an opportunity to tell you that the owner of the adjacent parcel uh, whose parcel uh, is burdened by a roadway that comes through his land and gets to the bottom of this parcel that would be the portion that were uh, to be subdivided if there were a 20 acre designation here. And that gentleman was adamant that uh, he owned the road and he had no knowledge of, of a deeded easement. Now, I don't know the definitive answer. Um, I, I do uh, also just recall, just parenthetically, that when we were out on the site, that that gentleman was, was very curious and came down with uh, his tractor to see what was going on on uh, our visit to that lower area. Uh, so just as a point of clarification, I tell you that. There and, we is did, some and we did have, I don't know if it's the same gentleman, but there was an individual before the lunch recess that spoke about the lack of access from his perspective. Could be the same gentleman. Maybe. Mm -hmm. right. But the applicant Super. advocates they have a easement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't and know. I, I just think this is, this is a piece of property that should be stepped up into the at least let those issues be fettered out but i would i would support uh, the rr20 desi rmr20 designation okay uh, it's presently rr rmr20 no it's presently 40. Oh, it moves up from a 40 oh, okay 40 to a 20. but it's presently in group three it's currently in group three and uh it, it could remain there if you wish those issues explored uh that could happen in in group three with the cooperation of the applicant and yeah. so forth. So that would be what I would, uh, I guess, to leave it in the designation that it's in the group that it's in. For that, further, that's that's for what further. we would. That's yeah. what we would say to you. Yes. Okay. So group three. It, 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 it's in group three presently. Uh, it's being re recommended to remain in group three. And I think that that's good. But it, we also have a clarification on the acreage size. It didn't was talked about earlier, but I think that's important that it would. There actually are the there is the acreage to to divide it into the twenties. Uh, yes, and planning but, staffs yes. already acknowledge that. that yes. There is. yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, remain in group three. Is that uh, consensus of the board? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then, Mr. Chairman, on the last one, the twenty-five, two thousand seven, the revision to a five-acre zoning has potential creating only one additional lot if I look at that correctly so it, yes it could be split in two in other words that, that's yes. it and it's the surrounding with the exception of the actual western side is uh, the other parts are, are smaller parcels than that so I having the environmental work done on this one in group one is fine with me given that it's potential is only one additional lot it's a change from what was propo originally proposed Okay, so the staff recommendation is to group one, uh, uh, one supervisor. I, I don't concur with that. I mean, the the comments from uh, the neighbors on on this and the uh, the floodplain designation, and I didn't I didn't really hear from staff that that was their recommendation. I think that 
they had concerns is what I got. So that's not one I would support moving into one. Okay. Supervisor Pinchers? I'm going to support the district supervisor. Okay. He knows Two. more about that parcel than I do. Two to one. Supervisor Colfax? Support district supervisor. Three to one. Four to one. Uh, we'll move it to group one. Okay. Um, what else is before us on this issue to staff? I think we're, I think we're wrapped up. Yeah, I think the, the last part was just the general direction uh, to staff and PMC to proceed with the preparation of the general plan update in the EIR and, and keep, keep it moving forward. And I also wanted to offer just a small clarification that the noticing on the January 14th workshop exceeded legal requirements. Um, there were a lot of properties, however, and so the additional issue of being able to have the, the parcel maps was not something that could be done at that time. But it was able to be done the second time because there were fewer parcels to look at. And we do agree that having it is, is definitely a way to go, and we'll do that whenever uh, the project allows that, that level of detail to be provided. I, I think the, the other remaining issue would be that we uh, are able to uh, no longer accept, you know, reconsiderations or, or um, additional applications at this time, and I would hope that that's part of your direction for us to go forward with the preparation of the uh, public review drafts. Do any, mem <laughs> any members of the board have a problem with that? Uh, this is done. We're not going to accept any additional supervisor pinches. I just want to say I, I appreciate the planning team's report and how they how they put this out, lay it out, all the issues. I, I really uh, this document here with all that was really. I mean, it, it's a lot of work's going in. I really appreciate it. I'm, all of you. I want to tell you that. Okay. Um, just one last comment. Ms. Thompson, if you keep making presentations like that, you're going to start being solicited for uh, public employment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I truly appreciate the way you covered a lot of ground quickly to educate both us and the public. And uh, you did it in an outstanding manner. And I just want to applaud you. Um, OK. Well, that does it for that item. Thank you very much. We appreciate all of the time and effort that the board's put in here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we do have a couple um, mundane items yet to take up here. So uh, um, <coughs> let's move to uh, item 8B, Supervisor Pinches. This is the approval of a letter of support Mendocino National Forest request to Caltrans uh, facilitated by MCLA or MCPA for encroachment permit for directional signage promoting visitation and tours on the Mendocino National Forest accessible on Highway 162. Supervisor Pinson. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is uh, a Lydia at the uh, Promotional Alliance has really moved this forward. And uh, even I was at a RAC meeting here about a month ago, and they says, how did you get this done? Because they've been trying to get it done for years. And I says, well, maybe it has to do with something about the Board of Supervisor controls the Promotional Alliance. <laughs> Alliance budget but anyways so it's pretty clear what this is it's about a, a signage at, at Long Vale to indicate one of the best uh, resources we have for tourism in this county is the Mendocino National Forest presently there's no signage there whatsoever to indicate uh, the Mendocino National Forest so this is just one of the first of the signage issues that uh, I'm working closely with uh, the Promotional Alliance to we're also working on an issue in the middle of Willis to indicate where our museum and roots of motive power and those things are, and that'll be coming forward in the new f near future. But this is this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just to to get uh, the support to get the encroachment permit uh, from Caltrans. Okay. Questions to uh, the item, Supervisor Delbar. This is probably one of if 